morning, everyone, and thanks for staying up with us. Close, so close, and that's a little consolation for UK fans. It is, but still those freshmen did their school and their fans proud. Brad's here with the NCAA championship story. Brad? Uh, evening, everyone. Tournament final attendance record, 79,238, and they got to see a show. First half track meet. UConn jumped out to a 15-point lead, largest deficit that Kentucky has faced in the tourney. But they fought back to make it a four-point game at halftime. Cats had cut the lead to one, but couldn't get over the hump. Niles get five for three. Huskies back up five, 54-49. Kentucky didn't dominate the boards like they thought they might, but Alex Poitras here gets the putback follow flush back within four. But UConn wouldn't wilt. Shabazz Napier at 22 run in the show and down low Daniels late. And no miracle tonight from Aaron Harrison. Kentucky got outplayed by a team no one thought could win a national championship three weeks ago. 60 to 54, UConn in the finals. Well, yeah, obviously, I'm proud of these guys, and we had our chances to win. That game stayed a one point game. We're missing shots, we're missing free throws, and we hung in there. These kids never gave up. I needed to do a couple more things for them to help them to get them over the hump. And uh, we just didn't have enough. Well, for what the local Big Blue faithful were feeling tonight, we turn to Mike Burke, who is live at Barleycorns in the Lakeside Park. Tough one tonight, Michael. Yeah, Brad, fans in the Commonwealth not exactly celebrating tonight, but I think they'll realize as the days and weeks go on that even if UK didn't get its one shining moment tonight, certainly during this March run to the championship, they had several great moments. It's a big blue nation here in Lakeside Park. Fans decked out in blue. The decor, perfect for the occasion. Even the beer was rooting for the Cats tonight. Fitting since this tournament run came from out of the blue. This has been way more fun than the 2012 run. Uh, just because, yeah, because it was expected. This, this has been a blast. People made reservations right after Aaron Harrison uh, hit that three-pointer in the Final Four. Number eight seed, definitely not right, but we'll take it. And uh, definitely makes it that much more exciting. But all of that hope before tip-off started drowning in those blue drinks once UK fell into an early 15-point deficit. Even a UConn supporter came out of the woodwork. You know, you could have stayed home. It would have been a lot safer. Yes. Absolutely here. I'm, you know, I'm a barley corns. I know everybody from barley corns here. Um, don't want to upset anybody, but um, I stick with my conference, so I'm going to go with that. UK erased that deficit to trail by just a few at the half, but never got over the hump. Maybe the young freshmen were overcome by the moment, but the moments they gave these fans won't soon be forgotten. The last two weeks have been amazing. I mean, unbelievable. We've been so excited the past two weeks. Well, I never thought that uh, UK was going to make it into the NCAA Finals tournament, much less get to the final game. So, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely pleased. Well, you've got a seven seed and an eight seed playing tonight, neither of which was expected to play on Championship Monday. So the fans of both teams certainly have to be proud and very happy with the 2013-14 college basketball season. Brad, let's send it back to you. Mike, thanks very much.